Can NATO actually go on the offensive and attack Russia if they invade fully into Ukraine? Yes and no. First, let's talk about the core reason as to why NATO was even formed. Literally, the main reason for NATO to be formed was to make sure there was no more expansion of Russia, and so other nations could form together and try to stop Russia from expanding into Europe and to stop nationalistic and military conquests all over Europe. But that has been threatened throughout the years, and people say, we don't even need NATO anymore. Russia will never do that. What is the point of this? NATO, to some people, was just bigger countries bullying other countries, economically, sometimes militarily. So, can they attack Russia? Well, no, because NATO, at the core of NATO, it is actually a, di a diplomatic and preventative um, organization. So that's why we are seeing a lot of sanctions right now. They're really hitting them with the sanctions, not hitting them so much with the airstrikes. And that is why NATO right now is not really going on the offensive. And you can see um, they're trying to do uh, deterrent type things, such as the U.S. military is sending troops into Poland to strengthen Poland's uh, training exercises and their borders. The British are sending weapons into Ukraine. Not so much on the offensive, but they are just trying to prevent things. And that's what NATO is all about. For NATO to actually go out of its way and to attack Russia, there would be a couple of issues with that as well. Technically Ukraine, not technically, really, Ukraine is not even a part of NATO, so really there is no justification as to why NATO should go and help Ukraine. In fact, this works against NATO and Russia can use that to their advantage. If NATO goes into Ukraine and starts attacking Russia, who are the bad guys now? NATO is not supposed to do that. They are supposed to be on the defensive. That is why they are sending so much troops and support to the Baltic nations right now. The US military just sent in some jets and weapons and that is why Poland again is getting more uh, support from the US military. So. To answer the main question, can NATO really go in and try to fight Russia one-on-one -on -one into Ukraine? No, they technically can't. However, if NATO does feel threatened, sometimes your best defense is your best offense. We haven't seen this in a long time to where NATO might actually have to go up and fight Russia. The only people to really somewhat almost fight Russia is the United States through Vietnam because Russia was sending in a lot of weapons, a lot of support. Also in Afghanistan where the United States was sending in weapons and, and stuff like that into the Mujahideen and they were attacking the Russians. But now we're actually seeing real possible 1v1 Ukraine versus Russia maybe even NATO might get involved with some boots on the ground I hope not and I hope that can clear up some reasons as to why NATO right now is only putting on some sanctions and they're not really you know showing all that military might that is why Russia is really not too afraid of NATO right now those sanctions probably will hurt a lot but military force would hurt a lot more